last couple of videos, we have learned about melody and harmony. We played Mary Had a Little Lamb, the melody on the high E string. And we played the harmony on the B string. Well, when we played those, and we played them separately like that, they never changed strings. That means the melody of Mary Had a Little Lamb stayed on the high E string the entire time. And when you played the harmony, you stayed on the B string the entire time. You did not have to change strings for this song. The next song we're going to play is going to require us to use two different strings within the same song at the same time. So that means you're going to have to change strings in this piece. But this is going to be really simple. It only has seven notes and it's going to use the E string and the B string. The same two strings that we used for Mary Had a Little Lamb when you played the harmony and the melody, you're going to have to use both of these strings at the same time for this song. And here's how it goes. We're going to start on the first fret, high E string, and play it once. Notice the number that I have on the music at the top of the screen has the number 1. Notice the letter E beside it. That means it is on the high E string. Now I'm going to move to the first fret B string. Notice how the E is on a different line. It is on the line marked B. So I have the first fret B string and I'm going to play it once. Then I'm going to play it again because the number one is there twice. So if I play those three notes, high E string first fret once, B string first fret twice, here it is. One more time. The next note we're going to play, notice it stays on the same line that is marked B. So that means this note is also on the B string. And it is the second fret. And we're going to play it once because the number two is only written one time. So here's all those notes again, all four. Starting at the high E string, first fret, B string, first fret, play it twice, and then the second fret once. For the next note, we return to the first fret B string. So here it is. Then go back to the first fret. The next two notes are both on the high E string. It is the open high E string, and then we end where we started on the first fret high E string. Once again, that is open high E string, first fret high E string. So here are all seven notes played without me interrupting. 